Yo, what's going on everyone? So recently I've been getting asked in comments on my Twitch chat uh, from friends and stuff about my video settings, my render settings, my how I record clips, my motion blur and stuff like that. So I figured I'd make a really quick video just explaining it and what I use for them. So here we go. First of all, I use OBS to record my clips and obviously I stream as well. So I'm going to quickly do and quickly show you how, you how you can have two OBSs open. So obviously you'd have your main OBS, you just click this, it will download the uh, EXE or the installer file, you install it, whatnot. So then you get a desktop icon, desktop app uh, to just open and then it'll open your OBS. But if you want to get a secondary OBS, you go here, download zip, uh, just open it and then just make a folder on your desktop. Just name it re recording OBS, drag these three into it and then you just open it up and then you've got a secondary OBS, very simple. And now that I've told you that, I'll show you my uh, recording settings in the OBS. So you just go to your OBS, bottom right settings, and then uh, output. And we go to output, recording. This is all my settings. So obviously I stream when I record. So I use max performance on the preset just, just to make sure. Uh, you need to do MKV because if you don't, you have the chance of, you know, whatever this says. I cannot be finalized. So we do MKV, uh, NVIDIA NVENC. H.264 new. This all works. Uh, replay buffer, make sure it's ticked. I have it set for 90 seconds because I have a program which I will show you on how to trim, uh, how to trim your clips and not lose any quality. And it also converts the clip to MP4, so you don't have to worry about it being MKV. Uh, audio doesn't matter, I guess. And for video, uh, 1080 10 a because you know 1080p. You want your resolution, basically your native resolution on your monitor. Uh, which could be, you know, if you have a 1440p monitor, that would be different, etc. And then I record at 120fps because I play pretty much every game at 144 capped. Now for the next thing I use, is called Lossless Cut. All the links will be in the description, by the way. Um, so just go to it, come here, scroll down. Uh, I believe the downloads here, yeah, just get the EXE. You can get the zip, just like I said with the OBS, you could do the same thing, but... Just get the EXE and it installs it so it's just literally just an EXE it just opens straight up to the app so I'll open it now and show you what, how to use it so now I've got it open I'm just going to drag a random clip in just quickly show you how to use it don't know what this run part's doing but that's besides the point so here's where I start fighting the Valkyrie which is actually the part I want to clip so you know what I'm just going to clip the run part as well so on the timeline, you see this green box. This is basically what you're going to be exporting. You're going to be cutting all this gray area out. You click this here. It's a set cut start to current position. So this is where I want the clip to start. I want it to start with, to say just before I pick up the alternator. I uh, kill the rampart. And then let's watch the clip. Whatever it is, just, just an example. The mirror of the Valkyrie. No, I die. We, we don't need to see that. So we can cut that out. We can just we can just cut it, top it there. We hit this one to cut the end of the clip. And then now this is the segment I want. So we go here, we select MP4, we click export in the bottom right. Obviously your output will be different. Make sure this is MP4 again. It should be as long as you set it there. Uh, you can copy these settings. I don't think I've changed anything. And then it shows the output name. It will just be the name of the file and then added date, time, whatever it is. And then you just click export. And you're done. Now on to the next bit, possibly the best bit. This is how I blur my clips. It's actually just literally a program called Blur by someone called Foe. Shout out to them. Um, so you just go to the link again in the description or wherever I might put it in the comments, who knows. Uh, just open the installer or click that link, sorry, click the installer. Then you download this. It should literally just give you Blur Installer. You're going to run the Blur Installer. Blah, 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 blah. You get this thing pop up. Yep. Do you want to tick both of these? Sure. Desktop app, yep, sure. And then you click install. And then it might have to do quite a lot more. I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to stop. You might have to do some more in like a Windows run file, which is fine. Just say yes if it like, you'll come up with prompts and stuff. You just do all that. And you should have a Blur EXE uh, appear on your desktop. And I'd recommend just putting it into a folder. And um, anytime you want to uh, put a clip into this Blur uh, EXE program, whatever drag your clip in the same folder with this because when you drag your clip into let me show you when you drag your clip into it it will it will put a blur config next to wherever your clip is so i always have my blur config so my config file which you just saw me drag out 
will always be in the same place so it never makes a new one so you want to drag your clips into the same folder so now i open it and drag it in it will just start working and it's using this blur config which i can give the settings to probably in the description or something like a paste bin and so yeah so now it's working through it's interpolating my fps up to i'll show you i've interpolated my fps to 1080 output's going to be 120 fps i record 120 so it's fine i will say um, I have tried interpolate, not interpolating, putting the output to 60 and the bitrate seemed a lot worse. I think the higher FPS it forces better quality. So do that. Obviously blur amount you can play with. Uh, these work to be the best settings for me. There's probably plenty of other things you can do. And uh, you know, I'll, again, I'll just put all my settings in the description for anyone to use. They work pretty well for almost all games. But if you have 60 FPS, FPS clips, you might want to try something else maybe. Oh, it's done. So I'll show you how it looks. Well, I'll show you the, the original, just to get... You see a lot different. So, here's the clip, now that it's uh, blurred. We'll just play it from here. You see? Very clean. Doesn't blur the hard, like motion blur, like, like uh, RSMB does. The quality's still there. I'll show you my render settings now. I'll just uh, pull the clip up into... Vegas. I can show you my composition settings really quick, just in case anyone wants to copy these. These are uh, these work out to be the best of me. Uh, audio, I guess, doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever. All this, just in case. Uh, probably start all projects with these. If you're just making videos, if you make TikToks or something, and you could just swap these around, and it'll be fine. But yeah, I'll show you my render settings. Oh, actually, sorry. Vukoda. This is the. Uh, whatever it is encoding service i don't know if it's a codec an app or whatever it is but we go to this link go to downloads you want to download uh this one i believe you just run it again and it should just execute install it and then once you've got that you will have to get the connector for whichever editing program editing software you use just get the same thing and i'm, I'm pretty sure it's straightforward all installs by itself so once you've got that done when you click render as so yeah now that you're here in render as you should see vukuda once you've installed it uh, i'll show you my settings just in case so make sure it's project best uh here we go in video we have you want to change the codec to this one nvidia invent nvenc sorry there's only going to be one preset unless you just use something else i believe high quality main main uh 18 is the same we use for recording and for filters here we go this is how you get the 4K render all in one. All works. Amazing. You go to add, C scale, uh, edit, and then I, I've made sure so I can type this out all in one. You know, you type out the 4K res. You want it to be blank odds, not spline. Click yes. And then you are. I don't know why it says something else here. Maybe that's just because it's there already. And then audio, sure, sure, whatever. And then output, MP4. Uh, and that's that and then obviously you click browse wherever you want to save it or oh, we'll do there you go save render as and that's 4k render and there you go it's done the vucoda render open it up it's the exact same clip you can render in 120 fps i have done it a few times but i feel like it just takes a little longer for not much difference maybe i'm wrong but there's that We'll go to the details. So this is the render. It's obviously in 4K, 100K, bitrate, 60 FPS. And then this is the actual clip from the blur. 1080p, 50K, you see? It's just double. Obviously, you could probably render in 120, but there you are. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, because obviously this was kind of rushed. I've pronounced Vukoda, Vukuda for the whole thing. It's just, I'm an idiot. So there you are. But yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I will answer all of them in the comments, and yeah, thanks for watching.